Okay, so today I have the Vogue Forces of Fashion event and I'm one stoked. This is my outfit. I don't know if you could see it. It's gonna be sideways anyway, but I I've been walking in these fucking things like all fucking morning. And um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm checking my map. I've been traveling for like 40 minutes now in these fucking heels. And honestly, they're actually very comfy. Um, oh my God, it's too loud, I can't do this. I'll talk later. We're also very happy to have you here, but we're particularly happy to see you. The last two uh, uh, courses were virtual, which is obviously indicative of, of the time, but we're just so happy to have you here uh, in real life. I'm a shy-ish person. But through fashion, and I think everybody can relate to this, you know, the, the power to, or the freedom to transform and to perform um, is allowed and granted. And that's, I think, my favorite thing about Scaparelli. It feels like the ultimate code of the house. I saw the Hamish Bowles at the time about uh, your job at Dior Met. Since then, of course, uh, you were named Artistic Director of Fendi, and now that you're taking care of it, uh, giving it to me, and it kind of, you know, smells like someone and has this nostalgic feeling that I really cherish, and they kind of became like heirlooms for me. So I think that also the education of like what what it takes to take care of cashmere. I think a lot of people in the past have been nervous about a material like cashmere. They think you have to dry clean it every time you wear it, it's just not the case. That was, I've been wearing my, those loafers, those heeled loafers for mm, 12 hours now. The event ended an hour and a half ago. And now I'm on to the soiree at a hotel that's uptown, kind of near Times Square. But it was so fun. I got to like meet a couple designers, get a couple emails from Vogue employees. Maybe I'll get an internship. Let me stop be hella cool like my feet hurt but they like it's not like they don't hurt they're more just like uncomfortable so it's like my pinky t it's literally just like my left pinky toe area I don't know how to describe it also I started this new like topical like acne ointment because I wanted Accutane but the dermatologist was like no try this first it's been only a couple days so I can't really tell if it's working or not but like right here it's like the only part that I made dry. And so like, it's just, it's like peeling and it's so gross. I hate being around people when that's happening, but like, I can't help it. I'm literally so tired from last night. I cannot. I'm sitting, eating the best croissant I have ever had in my life. I was also showed this road a couple years ago, and like ever since then, I could never fucking find it. And now I'm walking and I found it. I thought it was like, I don't know, but it's like the most, it's the most beautiful street in New York. Like, <gasps> oh my God, fucking pigeon. Hey pigeon.
Yeah, Look how much cream cheese is in that. That's like half a tube.